here. I'm playing calculus game on peak of four heads. At and today I will show what happens when you install Oculus Quest games on your Pico headset and even an easier method how you can play Oculus games on Pico using a computer. Here is an Oculus store for PC with all the latest exclusives. So let's connect to the computer. I will use virtual desktop. I will show streaming assistant method later in this video. So here is my computer and I have Oculus Store already installed. If I go to the store, here are all the exclusive games and I do not want to buy any game on Oculus Store. So let's find something for free. And maybe I will show how to use Quotes Russian Oculus Store to download more free games. But here is a free title. Let's install it. And while it is downloading, let's open Virtual Desktop. Click Games. You can see I already own some Oculus Store games. You have seen me playing First Contact at the, on this video intro. And Buds is another free game I have downloaded from Oculus Store earlier. So let's see what it is about. You can see I'm on a Pico headset and in the Oculus game. How do I exit this mess now? Oh, so just open menu and click X in virtual desktop. And look, the new game is ready. I hit start and it says no Oculus headset is found because we need to launch all games through virtual desktop menu. And I guess I need to restart virtual desktop to update the games on the list. Let's open the menu. And yeah, here is our new game. And it does launch with no problems now. Again, exit it to again, open virtual desktop menu and click X to close the game. Alright, so using this method, you can buy and play any Oculus exclusive game on your Pico headset using the computer. Now, here is quotes Russian Oculus Store with the same games available for free. This one is for Quest Wall. You can see Quest 2 in the title, so I need to go back. And the second one is for Windows. You can see Oculus Rift, that means this is an Oculus game for Windows computer. And I have already have it downloaded it here. Now I guess you need to use the virtual desktop menu again. Right click and you can cl right click and click launch game. Or you can download Revive and it will give you the same menu with Oculus games with all your Oculus games on your computer. But I think this game has a script already to launch through Revive.
Okay, it crashed. So I have restarted all my Steam VR and revive again. And I think it crashed because I did not have administrator rights. Yeah, it works now. So I just needed to use administrator rights to run the script. And now I will switch to VR mode through virtual desktops menu. Let's close Teams menus. And here we are in the game. So I was using virtual desktop, but the, I, but the same idea works with the streaming assistant. I'm connected on my Wi-Fi 6 network and I click connect to the computer. Again, I hold menu button on the left controller to enter Steam menu. Now I can see all my Oculus games already available on Steam. That is because I have already Revive installed and running. And you can launch Revive and it will give the same menu with all Oculus games installed on the computer. We're receiving a Revive menu in Steam VR. So we can try running maybe first contact uh, again. And you can see my Pico controllers. They should switch to Quest controllers now. Okay, I do not have my controllers in the game. Which means I need to go to the settings and check controller bindings. And I might need to change the settings for every... You might need to change the settings for every game. Though there should be presets for most of the games. Okay, so after some twinkering, I got my quest controls on Pico. And you can see I'm still running the assistant. So we have our virtual hands now. And these issues are because we are running an Oculus game in Revive VR, through Steam VR, through Pico VR headset, maybe in a simulated reality. I mean, it's a real metaverse, running three or maybe even more layers of VR. I think here's, in my mind, like the, the, the strongest argument for, the, for us being in a simulation, probably being in a simulation. So what will happen if we try running a quest game on a Pico headset itself? Well, if I go to a file browser, you can see I have access to the whole Android system by default. I did not even do any developer unlocks and I have downloaded some Quest uh, 2 games already from the same quotes Russian Oculus store so here are the games I did test and we do work on the actual Quest 2 headset so let's try installing them on Pico now we can start with Drumrock because I have already it on my Pico headset. And it is unable to install. So let's try the games I do not have on a Pico yet. And it did install. And here is the first person tennis in the menu. <laughs> and it crashed. Okay, so let's try installing other two games. Against and Ultra Wings. Same, the first one has crashed. And then let's launch against. Hey, something is happening. Yep, 
it is loading and it crashed too but the conclusion you can install any game by default on a pico headset no hacking is even needed and quest games probably won't launch without some oculus controller emulation or modding the default game but you can play the same oculus uh, quest games using oculus store on your pc and connecting with virtual desktop almost as easy as playing all games from steam so thanks for watching and check my whole pico review in the next video